I am back with a brand new DCU update. And again, I love bringing these updates to you guys. Uh, this video is going to take a much bigger turn than I was expecting. Now, I did expect uh, to be able to do a video over the weekend, but I was actually helping my brother work on a really big project. Uh, we're creating a wall entertainment unit, and I love building and creating things, and I was there all weekend, uh, long hours, uh, getting that done. So I am back now, and there was some crazy information that came out Friday, and I really wanted to do a video on this, but it got even crazier today. So this is not rumor. The Hollywood Reporter is reporting that David Zaslav and Peter Safran had a meeting with Christopher Nolan and also Steven Spielberg. That's huge. Uh, I think, you know, Christopher Nolan, I love his Dark Knight trilogy, probably my favorite superhero trilogy ever. Uh, I think he did an incredible job with it. Looking back at it, some of the fighting is a little lethargic compared to what Zack Snyder has done. But he'd be a welcome addition to anything back. I mean, these guys were not going to work with Warner Brothers again with the old regime. But And he had a, a really good relationship with Warner Brothers. Well, the old regime is gone, and he's willing to come back and have some discussions. Doing a Superman film with Christopher Nolan would be pretty cool. Now, Steven Spielberg, uh, I love Steven Spielberg. I grew up loving his films from the 80s. I'm an 80s guy, and, and I have dozens of Spielberg films. I love his movies. I think he would be a great choice to also direct an action film like a Superman film. But things took an interesting turn today, and there's some big news that just dropped a couple of hours ago. And this comes directly from Jason Momoa himself. Now, I'm not going to share the video specifically because it does have language in there, and I am not going to condone language on my channel. I'm not going to be one of those guys that just starts blurting out you know, curse words to appease a certain group of people. I don't speak like that in real life, and I don't, I'm not going to be using that kind of language on my channel. But I do follow Jason Momoa, and he posted a crazy video today on, on Twitter, and I wouldn't be surprised if this video gets pulled down. Uh, but he says, Mark, well, it, it's a post from yesterday. He said, Mark this day. November 6th, he said, mark it. Mark it and remember this day. Big things are happening. He said, I can't talk about these things yet. And he said, I want to talk about these things. And then he says something about the maestro, the effing maestro. Well, who's the maestro? Zack Snyder. So there are some heavy rumors out there that Zack Snyder is going to be coming back to direct something. And there, if you go look on social media and you look at some of the interviews that James Gunn has had, uh, I have a lot to talk about in this video. And, and I'm going to talk about the repercussions of what Jason Momoa said here in a little bit. But first, I wanted to talk about the little, the, the small things first. First of all, uh, the Shazam sequel is ready to go. The new poster for it got released over the weekend. Uh, and Zachary Levi is telling us it's going to be a funnier, more action-packed, just a much better film all around. comes out like March 17th, so we'll be seeing that pretty soon too. So that video or that, uh, that project is done and ready to go and in the bag, ready to be revealed in March. Now, we also had Black Adam had its third week. Well, it's the second week it's out, but it's the third weekend. And it has now crossed over $300 million worldwide. Uh, so it's very close to making a profit and will continue to make a profit going forward. And that's going to play a big role into the future. Now we have uh, my favorite person, uh, GR, Grace Randolph, out there just spouting out bull crap on Twitter again. She comes out with all these wild accusations that there's some infighting between not just James Gunn, but also The Rock, that they're butting heads on where they wanted the future of DC to go. And I can tell you right now, it's all bull crap. She goes on this tirade. And then at the very end, she said, these things may never happen. Things will change. Things can change. She's giving herself an out. She's just spouting out bull crap. And Enola Holmes too, got released on Netflix over the weekend. And, and 
Grace Randolph did just this incredible review for for Henry Cavill in that movie. So apparently she's only going to bat for him if it's a non-DC project. It's very strange, this love-hate relationship she has. She's full of crap all the way around. So I, I thought that was kind of interesting. Now let's talk about these comments by James Gunn. First of all, I will tell you that the air cut is eminent. I am, I can guarantee you this movie's getting released. There were some scenes that dropped over the weekend, uh, some extended clips that were released on Twitter and a couple of other places online, and I would encourage people to go look for those on Twitter. There is definitely something happening, and with David Zaslav mentioning last week that they have a back catalog and things that have never seen the light of day that could make them money, this is one of those things. If this got released theatrically, it's nothing but profit for them. Uh, They're going to make quite a bit of money if they release this film. Uh, they could just also release it on video and just reap the sales on on home video. We'll see what the strategy is for that going forward. Uh, along with you know that kind of a strategy with what they're doing with media, also know that David Zaslav did talk about the merger with HBO Max and Discovery Plus is coming about three months earlier than they had anticipated. They anticipated next summer, but it is actually going to happen in the spring. So James Gunn has been out there making comments about the future of DC saying, and he's made comments with David Ayer on Twitter that, you know, they're, they're being graceful towards each other. And it's amazing to watch the difference and just the communication between the directors, the actors on, on social media that was completely absent, like utterly absent under the old regime. This old regime was against the creators the new regime, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Until they come out with a direct plan, we don't know what's going to happen. But after Jason Momoa's post that, that went viral today, I fully expect that Zack Snyder is going to be back. They're teasing a final crisis event down the line. And there were some there's some information out there that, you know, Henry Cavill was really excited to do a happy, upbeat Superman before the anti-life equation takes over. Well, this is going to give them an opportunity because Darkseid doesn't need to be here immediately. Justice League 2, I think, is going to lead into a final crisis event. So I think eventually we're going to have Justice League 2, but first we're going to have the solo Superman film. Like, they're moving at light speed right now to kind of bring everything together. And if you don't think that they're behind the scenes right now just creating these grand plans, you are mistaken. And I do believe Zack Snyder is going to be a part of that. I don't know if it's going to be immediately. And, you know, based on what Jason Momoa said, he wouldn't be able to come back immediately. He still has a contract with Netflix, and I am going to have to do some research to find out exactly when it ends. But his role with DC is not done. I can guarantee you that. Uh, This is one of those things where I'm making some big predictions, okay, that either Christopher Nolan or Steven Spielberg is going to be involved with the new Superman film or something big with DC. They don't meet with these guys, and and these guys wouldn't meet with them if there isn't something big going on. I do pretty much guarantee that Zack Snyder is going to be back in some capacity. If you go back to what he posted last Thanksgiving, he still had a contract with Netflix, but he still posted the Final Crisis graphic novel with notebooks on top of it. If you don't think something is being planned... You're kind of in the dark at this stage. Stick to my channel. You'll get all the information as it gets released. I do appreciate the support. Uh, If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm in this for the long term, and I will be here bringing you all the DC news as it gets released. I do appreciate it. We will see you on the next video.